it's hard not to want to come back to the Hunger Games. Um, from the beginning, this project has just occupied like a very special and like important part of, of my mind and my heart. But the chance to come back and get to collaborate closely with Suzanne on the script, um, work again with Michael Arndt, newly with Mike Leslie, um, and to have Francis, you know, as my partner, um, that was something I didn't think I'd ever get to come back to that because we really didn't know that there would be more. We hoped maybe Suzanne would write more books, but we really didn't know until we got the phone call. Well, watching Rachel sing on set was something where you, I would get chills or just sit there sort of stunned, especially because she mostly chose to sing live which is really rare, you know, usually you lay down a track of, you know, your, your actor, and then they lip sync or they maybe sing softly along, but they don't bring it every time because that would be exhausting. She brought it every time and it would just leave you like stock still, sort of staring, unable to take your eyes off of her, unable to believe that this voice can come out of this tiny little person. In Tom, we found an actor who has incredible restraint in his performance. Um, his, his training, you know, having this sort of student of, of theater, of acting, of performance, and seeing how much he really relies on and li like laser locks into his scene partner. Viola was always Francis and my first choice. I think he mentioned her early on and I was like, yeah, that's it. Like, we can't do better. Hunter is, um, you know, we really wanted her. Um, we really hoped that she would be able to do it. She just has a very glamorous quality. And then you meet her and she is in fact so down to earth, so sweet, humble, kind, and she channels those qualities. Suzanne, who obviously has been intricately involved from the beginning, from the moment she entrusted me with her books, you know, I have always felt that like her voice, she is my North Star. What I need, I try my best to understand what inspires her, what mattered to her, why she wrote what she wrote, and then to make sure that those things make it into the movie in a way that she feels fully expresses the ideas that, and emotions that she was exploring.